Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your January 2020 mid-month general reading. So we're looking at the last half of January 2020. Welcome everyone, welcome newcomers, and welcome back to followers and subscribers. Thanks for all that you do in support of this channel. So I hope everyone is continuing to have a nice transition into this new year, 2020. This reading is for the fire sign of Leo, our lovely lions, for the last half of January 2020. That's Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising, if your Venus is in Leo or if you're cross-watching for a Leo. Uh, watch your other signs if you know them, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. As you know, general readings always resonate a little differently. Uh, so if you know your other signs, watch them as well because it can provide additional clarification. If this one doesn't resonate for you, then the message is not for you. If any of you are interested in reaching out for a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, just click on the description link below where you'll find more information and contact details and my email address, you can email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I offer a wide variety of readings in all areas of life for you or as a gift for friends, family, loved ones. I can usually respond to your initial inquiries uh, within the same day or the first 24 hours. And as I do readings full time, five to six days a week, it's all that I do. I'm pretty diligent at working with everyone's schedules to get readings out and scheduled in as quick and timely a fashion as possible. So email me if you're interested and uh, we'll go from there. You can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go, and that link is also provided as well. That is good for uh, quick answers to the quick, easier sort of questions. Okay, Leo, let's move right into this reading for you for the last half of January 2020. So basically, we're looking at around the middle of the month, the 15th or so to the end. For those of you who want to know or need to know, I am using the Gilded Tarot. Okay, Leo, we begin with the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Magician, followed by the Ace of Swords. From the bottom of the deck, overall energy and focus for the last half of January 2020 is the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands, you are definitely looking forward and feeling pretty hopeful and positive about the future. The Three of Wands can represent, uh, the cards as they go in chronological order kind of tell uh, a developing story. In the Ace of Wands, the One of Wands, uh, we have something new coming to us, uh, something, uh, you know, some new opportunity that's exciting. And the Two of Wands, we're at a crossroads trying to figure out which path to choose which way to go to begin to manifest this. And here in the Three of Wands, which is your overall focus for the last half of January, we have put some work in, we have done some of the work, we've planted some seeds, and we are beginning to see uh, small goals being met on the way to achieving that big goal. So seeing some manifestations and feeling very positive about waiting for the ship to come in and seeing what's on it. So feeling very hopeful, very positive about what you have done so far in whatever area of your life this is going to resonate. And for some of you, it might be uh, a project, career work and finances. Uh, it could be a relationship issue as well. So we have the Queen of Pentacles followed by the Wheel of Fortune. So the Queen of Pentacles, Pentacles is governed by the element of Earth. And in the Tarot, the suit of Pentacles, the energy is about, often about the physical structure of our life and the things in that physical structure of our life that make us feel safe, solid, stable, secure. Uh, gives us a sense of continuity. So it can be money, finance, property, real estate, assets, job, you know, financial and material aspects of life that make us feel nice and safe and cozy. It can also represent uh, the relationships in our life that also help us give us a sense of continuity and stability, long-term friendships, family, uh, relationships, marriages, etc. It also can represent um, 
the efforts we put into acquiring those things in our life. So kings and queens represent individuals who have mastered their suit. They're at the top of their game. So the queen of pentacles is somebody who is very practical, capable, resourceful. Uh, she's very good at navigating the day-to-day -day challenges of the physical world we live in. And often from the outside looking in, she makes it look rather effortless. Uh, if, if I were to describe a uh, give you an analogy of the Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody who, uh, it's earth sign too, so it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, showing up as a female, but it could be a male because this is a general reading and there's so many of you watching. So the Queen of Pentacles would be somebody who, you know, uh, she runs her own home or works a full-time job or owns her own business, runs her own home. She always looks very well put together. The kids always look very well put together. The lawn is always mowed. She's, uh, if there's a crisis or anything in need in her community, she's the first one to kind of show up with a casserole or, you know, a vacuum cleaner or help with something. She's, and she kind of makes it look effortless. You know, she's very good, very capable, very resourceful, and she tends to show her love and caring in very practical sort of ways. So, but this is also, so this could be an earth sign, uh, female or male that's showing up in the last half of January for you, Leo. Uh, that's significant somehow. This can also represent somebody who is just standing, uh, feeling very stable, feeling very secure, feeling secure uh, financially and materially, and just feeling very rooted, very solid, you know, uh, has a lot of stability and security in their lives and kind of just standing in the midst of that and feeling very, very solid, very comfortable, very secure. And it could be this, this is the energy that you're feeling and that you're manifesting at this time, Leo, because you are, uh, you are feeling uh, pretty secure about the future, meaning you're feeling very hopeful and positive about the future because of the work you've already done. We're still pretty early on in the path here. We're only at a three and tens represent completion or cycle fulfillment, but feeling very positive. For, so for some of you, this Queen of Pentacles could be you feeling uh, as if you are standing in or well on your way to financial and, ma and material and perhaps emotional security in your uh, life as well. Now what clarifies the Queen of Pentacles is the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. So this is energies of God's spirit, your angels and guides, divine timing and orchestration. We of course have no control over this energy. It's the Wheel of Fortune. We spin it and after that it lands where it's meant to land. Uh, sometimes it feels like the wheel is turning against us. Sometimes it feels like it's working for us. That's really in perspective. It's always working for us. God's spirit, the universe is always working in your favor, even if sometimes it doesn't feel like that, particularly when things come to an end. They're meant to for a certain reason. However, in the upright position, the wheel of fortune is a strong indication that things are beginning to turn in your favor. Uh, there is a stroke of good luck, of good fortune here. Um, the wheel has hit on something quite nice for you. Now, for some of you, it might be that someone in your life who is showing up as the Queen of Pentacles is bringing some stroke of good luck and good fortune to you, which is helping you, uh, you know, which is adding to your feeling of like feeling very positive about the future. It could be some kind of a financial or material assistance or help of some kind. Now for some of you, this could represent that if this Queen of Pentacles isn't relevant to you as an external person in your life in the last half of January, there's definitely something kind of dropping in almost unex unexpectedly uh, that is bringing you this sense of stability and security, particularly where finances, material aspects, or any projects that you have been working on. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune would represent divine timing and orchestration, spirit kind of bringing things together for you. You know, the right people at the right time, in the right way, in the right places, things just kind of clicking together, almost independent of you, meaning that you are putting some work in, but also spirit is really <laughs> in the last half of January, kind of dropping a nice little windfall, whether it's in finances, material stuff, or the resources that you need to put you in a place or keep you in a place of stability and security. It might be spirit working just, 
you know, on its own with something being kind of dropped into your lap that you're like, oh, thank God, what a blessing. Uh, this really moves me along. Or spirit could be working through someone who is showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. Because often, Leo, in our lives, uh, what I see is spirit, when spirit works in our life, they often work in through other people. They work in ways in our life through other people. So it could be that for some of you. Now, next to that, we have the Magician and the Ace of Swords. The Magician is another major arcana card and a very powerful one. The Magician is a very powerful person and he or she has worked very hard to get to where they're at. They started off as a page. They started off as, you know, a beginner, an apprentice, not knowing anything. And they've worked very hard. They've walked a long road and they've learned through trial, through error, through success, through failure. And they're finally at a place now where they, they have control. They have mastered uh, you can see here the magician, he's juggling each one of the primary symbols of each of the, the, the suits of the tarot, but each one of them represents something. Pentacles, which can represent money, material issues, finance, you know, the physical structure of our life. Swords, which represents air, what goes on in our heads, thoughts, ideas, perceptions, communication. Cups, which is governed by water, which is our emotions, uh, the emotional landscape of our life. And sword, or wands, which is governed by the element of fire, which is all about change and movement and action, creativity and artistry as well. So he is at now at a place where he has everything that he needs, all the skills, tools, knowledge, wisdom, and experience. And he takes all of that and pairs it with his own will determination to manifest externally, manifest something into physical being uh, because he knows how to do it. He doesn't just wish it into existence, uh, but he knows how to do it using all the skills and knowledge and, and wisdom from the path that he's already walked. So the magician showing up says that you, I mean, it's a direct message from spirit saying that you have this, you have everything that you need to continue to manifest and accomplish whatever goal this represents for you. Now, the magician is clarified by the Ace of Swords. So Swords is that mental air energy. It's all about what goes on up in our heads. Aces represent the number one. So a new beginning, a new start, the opportunity for one. The Ace of Swords comes in and it cuts away any extraneous illusion and emotions and illuminates something for what it actually is, the reality of a situation. It can represent the epiphany, a light bulb going off over your head, an answer, a solution, seeing something in a new way, seeing an answer to something. It's definitely being brought to you in the last half of January here, Leo. For some of you, it might be this Queen of Pentacles individual who is helping you or collaborating with you that spirit is using to kind of help and collaborate with you to keep you going to kind of give you a sense of self-confidence and help you come up with some new idea some new way of looking at something so that you can continue to move towards whatever this goal is that you're trying to accomplish for others of you 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 yourself are manifesting okay I've just been given this thing, this sense of abun this abundance, I've been given this gift or this gift of good luck and good fortune, however it specifically manifests for you. It's a general reading, so it's going to mean different things for different people. But you are using every tool at your disposal um, to come up with an answer to something or a new way of looking at something to help you continue to manifest whatever your goal is down the road. I also feel like for some of you, I mean, the Ace of Swords is sitting right next to the Wheel of Fortune too. It's as if, you know, God, Spirit, your guardian angels or your, your, your angelic muse is kind of, you know, whispering this, here's a new way, here's a new answer, here's a new idea, here's a new way of looking at this and a new way of doing this. You do this. Um, here's the idea and you can take that idea or that solution, that kind of epiphany idea and you 
marry it with your skills, wisdom, and knowledge to move it ahead uh, so that you can continue to grow this three into a four, into a five, into a six until you can reach, you know, a conclusion and reach that goal. It's a very powerful, wonderful uh, kind of moving forward reading. I'm, to be honest, not getting too much in the realm of love and romance or relationships. It feels more for a lot of you like it may be some kind of something to do with another path in your life, career, work, finance, projects of some kind, uh, something that you're trying to manifest. I mean, it might be a personal relationship for some of you, but uh, not really getting that for the majority of you. Let's pull one final guidance card from Spirit. What's the higher message from Spirit here for the last half of January 2024? had one just jump right out there. Six of Wands, victory and triumph after success, public recognition, uh, visi high visibility too, winning an award, uh, having your efforts and your struggles uh, be acknowledged uh, and commended and applauded as you achieve victory and triumph over whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest. For some of you, I'm getting too that this actually is a higher level of public exposure or visibility and you've gotten some new idea on how to increase perhaps your consumer base for those of you who like own or run your own business or uh, your business or career project, the success of it is directly related to, you know, how many people view you or see you or see your project. I feel like this idea that you've kind of gotten almost out of nowhere uh, is helping increase your visibility, which is going to lead to greater and greater uh, amount of success for you as this plays out. Um, so whatever great new idea you get over the last half of January 2020, Leo, jump right on that because you are well up for it, you're well able for it, and you have everything that you need uh, in order to continue manifesting this into the full uh, successful picture that you have in your mind for it. So Leo, that is your reading for the last half of January. I hope you found it helpful. It is a beautiful and bright and lovely positive reading. Uh, again, if any of you are interested in reaching out for a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, just click on the description link below. Email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you and set something up. I'll see you all again in a couple of weeks for the February 2020 general readings. Until then, Leo, I wish you all the very best and I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.